Earlier this offseason, Kyrie Irving signed a three-year, $120 million contract to return to the Dallas Mavericks. Irving, who originally joined Dallas at the trade deadline, now prepares for a full season partnered with Luka Doncic, a partnership that at many times last season looked shaky on the court and ended up missing the playoffs. Though Kyrie has overall played well individually, his teams have fallen short since he left LeBron James and the Cavs back in 2017. A tweet from the account Basketball Forever pointed out this graphic posted on X, formerly known as Twitter, this week. Kyrie replied saying, pin this tweet and see what happens in the next few years. All right, we got Stephen A. and Mad Dog for this one. Stephen A., does Kyrie have to prove he can win without LeBron James? Well, I mean, if he wants to be seen as the champion that he, that, that, that he deserves to be seen as, so be it. He is a champion. And the reason why I say that and I keep reminding everybody that, yes, he didn't win the title. He didn't win the title without LeBron. He needed LeBron to do it. LeBron needed him too. LeBron was not beating Golden State without Kyrie performing the way that Kyrie performed. Kyrie was absolutely spectacular in the NBA Finals. Hit that game winning shot. People forget he averaged 27 a game in that series. It was either 27 or 29. I think it was 27 in that series. He showed up. And throughout the basketball community, you respect his skills. Everybody talks about his handle. Show me a small guard in the NBA that can finish at the basket the way that Kyrie Irving can finish at. He's absolutely unstoppable offensively. We get this. But in the end, here's where, where, what he has to recognize. LeBron James, the leader, plays a pivotal role in the success of LeBron James. The fact that he plays the game the way that he plays it, and he's willing to take a leadership role and take a majority of the hits and make sure that he has everybody on the same page. That is something that Kyrie Irving has not been able to pull off in the aftermath. He didn't do it in Boston. They had more success with Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum on the floor without him than they did with him. He goes to Brooklyn. Obviously, there was a potpourri of things that came into the equation that prevented him from being the leader he is capable of being. And in Dallas, I hold, I don't fault him at all for what transpired in Dallas. You traded half the team to get him, for crying out loud. It was him and Luka and pretty much nothing else. You got to get a better roster to put on the floor with him. But the bottom line is, is that he hasn't proven he can win without LeBron, even though I think the year he got hurt, twisted his ankle against Milwaukee, I think they won the title that year. I think they would have beat Milwaukee if Kyrie hadn't gotten hurt. But he did, and so the proof isn't there that he can win without LeBron, and it's going to stay that way until he wins without LeBron. I totally agree, plus the fact he could have won that first championship against Golden State. He got hurt in that series. That's that right. was the year that LeBron uh, only, uh, they lost yeah. the six Yeah, and all he had was Matthew Della And he had nobody. And yeah, he nobody. had Jameson. Delhi. They were terrible. So from that standpoint, he could have won that one. He was better than Curry. In a year that they won, and Stevie is 100% right. When he is focused and in those big games, I'll take him over anybody. He is a tremendous, tremendous basketball player. But what he has, well, what happens with him, though, he gets in the way of himself. Right. He gets in the way. He gets bored. He says things that gets himself in trouble. He doesn't focus in on basketball. He gets bored with the regular season. He gets bored. Plays 75 games, and you're right, he gets no grief for Dallas, none whatsoever. Plays 70 to 75 games, play your rear end off, don't say anything, and let's see what happens here at the end of the day with Duncan. Here's the problem that I have with the Kyrie quote, though. See, to me, if you're a boxer, say that. If you're a tennis player, say that. If you're a golfer, say that. Kyrie Irving went to Dallas last year and did his job. He did exactly what you would expect from him. But they didn't have a team. And so when you answer a critic that says you haven't had success without LeBron James. You're acting as if you as an individual can change those fortunes. You can't. You by yourself can't beat the Lakers. You by yourself can't beat the Clippers. You can't beat Golden State. You can't beat the Denver Nuggets. You can't beat the Memphis Grizzlies. You, ha you need a team to do it. And so when you respond to a critic like that, Kyrie could go out there and average 30 this year, and Luka could do the same, and Dallas could still be struggling to make the play-in tournament. You see what I'm saying? Uh, of course so we do. if that's the reality, why why talk? Yeah, he's because just... there's nothing you can do. You could go out there and perform, and I think that Kyrie Irving is going to be sensational this upcoming season. But Dallas has to get him a better roster. He might as well just stay low, lay low, not respond, and go out there and let his play do the talking. Yeah. He hasn't proved he's going to allow his play to do the talking. He needs to play a full season. Yeah. He doesn't say anything. He doesn't respond. He plays a full yeah. amount of games or thereabouts, and you know does a good job mm -hmm. with Dallas. Where if they don't win.
See, he doesn't have to win a championship because we all know they're not a championship-level team. Yeah. But we have to walk out of the season in May and say, you know what? you got to give everyone credit. Team wasn't great. They weren't a championship team. He played 70, 75 games. He kept his mouth shut, played great, and they did what they were supposed to do. Yeah. Maybe get to a, a, a second round. You know, B, win 45 to 48 games. I think that's the barometer, and if he does that, I think he'll be successful this year. Absolutely. Let your play do the talking. Bye, guys. <laughs>